welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach, and here we talk about overlanding, gear builds, DIY, all sorts of stuff related to modifying your vehicle, getting out there, adventuring in the outdoors. Today, I'm going to be talking just a little bit more about my fridge experience. You know, right now, it's kind of the Black Friday, sort of November, Black Friday sales. It seems to be almost all month nowadays, uh, but there's a ton of great sales out there. And so if you're trying to figure out some of the camping gear uh, that you might want to consider running or just thinking a little bit about the camping setup portion of your vehicle, I'm just going to share some of the tips and tricks and things along the way that I've kind of found useful and helpful. And uh, yeah, maybe you'll find this video useful and at least help you know provide a little bit of guidance or maybe at least some suggestions that you can consider when uh, looking at all of the sales that are going on right now. So I want to give a shout out to Iceco for supporting this video. This video was kind of, uh, you know, a suggestion from them to basically be like, you know, Zach, you've shown our fridges before, but why not like share your actual experience with using them? And it's not a bad idea. So I kind of want to explain some of the things that I've liked about their fridges over the uh, last year or so that I've been running them, maybe a little bit longer than that even, uh, and just kind of explain some of the pros and cons, some of why I made a certain decision, and kind of go from there. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab a couple of my fridges, just kind of throw them on the bench here and explain some of the different things about what I really like about them. So let's jump into it. So before we start talking about these fridges and just talking a little bit about like what it all takes and some of the considerations, I do want to just mention that, you know, in this sort of time of just spending money, uh, a lot of brands out there, they run pretty good sales right now, and they do really go the extra mile in helping save you money if you're, you know, planning on spending money on those modifications. But I will mention that, like, if it's not the right time to purchase something, uh, a lot of guys like myself, or I may know somebody, if you're interested in a modification, feel free to comment then down below whether you're you know, looking for a forerunner or maybe a completely different vehicle, you know, I know a lot of guys in this industry and I may know somebody who can help, you know, figure out a discount for you. I've got a ton of different discount codes down below. I've talked a lot about the big brands that I trust and they're all linked down below. Uh, so, you know, if you feel like Black Friday is really not the best timing for purchasing something, there's somebody out there that might be able to help you get a discount. And maybe that's me, maybe that's somebody else. Um, I know a lot of people and so maybe I can help you save some money, you know, even in an area where I don't have a discount code or really any sort of financial connection. Uh, it never hurts to ask. Uh, so I just want to kind of mention that because while right now it's probably going to be pretty gear heavy content and there's going to be people out there making tons of videos that are like all these things that you can buy and save and these awesome Black Friday deals going on. It's like, yeah, it's true. It's a little bit additional discount compared to other times of the year. Um, but not everyone can just go spend like five to 10 grand on their vehicle. And so, um, you know, depending upon the timing and what you find works, uh, that might be something that kind of helps you out at least figure out, okay, maybe some of these items I could look into now and then some of these other ones later on. Um, but regardless of what you're going to do, I always think it's smart to kind of think about things as terms of like the foundations. So if there is some sort of foundational element that you need to purchase, uh, you know, it might be helpful to actually think about buying, you know, something foundational on a sale because a lot of times if you're trying to establish a foundation for your vehicle, that can be a little bit on the more expensive side. So like a foundation for a vehicle might be suspension or an electrical system or things of that nature. They're kind of a backbone for a lot of other things you're trying to do with your vehicle. So, um, you know, if you're trying to figure out priorities on where to go as far as spending money on Black Friday, you know, maybe that's somewhat of a framework that you can start to think about and go from there. So talking about more foundational things, you know, a lot of people, when you think about refrigerators, you think about the electrical that goes into powering them. There's a couple of different options. You can buy batteries that are smaller like this. This is a 268 watt hour battery, probably too small, but you can get batteries that are this size. I have one from Blue Eddy that's kind of an orange one. You maybe remember the video I did on it. That's a 500 watt hour battery. Similar size and, and footprint, but twice the actual storage. So you can get a battery like this size, or you can get something really big like this battery. This is the 
EcoFlow Delta Max. This is like the backbone of my camping setup. Absolutely love this thing. They're probably running a Black Friday sale. These are a bit of a pretty penny, but this is a 2000 watt hour battery. So the cool thing is, is a lot of these big fridges run around 30 to 75 watts. So if it's really cold out, a lot of times they don't kick on as often. If it's really hot out, they kick on to that higher energy or power draw, you know, compared to the 30 watt range. So if you're drawing 75 watts per hour, and this is a 2000 watt hour battery, then do the math there on how long your battery is going to last. But typically this has been pretty good to, you know, last between three and six days, just kind of depends on what you're doing. So it just kind of depends on where you're going, what sort of sunlight you have, what sort of power you have. If you're camping in a state park where there's electrical, you might not need that big of a battery. If you're off grid and there's sun, maybe you need a solar panel. If you're off grid, there's no sun, maybe you need a big battery. Another alternative to this is just going and installing a dual battery system. But oftentimes dual battery systems like the one that I have in my vehicle, it's a 65 watt hour or 65 amp hour battery. So, you know, rough math, multiply that by 10 or 12 to get your actual wattage. You know, you're, you're looking up to around, let's just say 800 watt hour. And this is a 2000 watt hour. So that battery will if we do kind of a linear math here, that battery will run for maybe two to three days as opposed to three to six days for this. That's quite a bit, and especially if you're driving every day, maybe that works great for you. A lot of people get dual battery systems to run fridges. Uh, so it just kind of depends on what sort of travel you like to do, how often you're moving, what sort of temperatures you're in, but those are some of the things you can start to think about. And electrical systems, unfortunately, can be a bit expensive. so. Uh, Black Friday might be a great time to look into something like that because as much as this video is about fridges, all these electric fridges require power systems to run them. So they kind of go hand in hand. I'm a really big fan of EcoFlow's products. Uh, honestly, if I were to pick a favorite product, I really like EcoFlow. Uh, and I've had this battery for I think over a year now and it's worked absolutely great. I take it everywhere I go and it runs electric blankets and diesel heaters and all that stuff, it would run those just great as well, since we're kind of coming upon winter camping. So it's a versatile product. Uh, and if you're wanting to do more of a dual battery system or anything really else other than that, definitely check out Red Arc's products and Blaze Off-Road. Blaze Off-Road carries a lot of them. And those are companies that I've been working with and I think really sell some of the best stuff. All right, so yeah, these batteries are something you can consider if you don't want to go the full nine yards with something built into your vehicle. They're very portable. You can transport them between multiple vehicles. Super handy. The next question is, what size fridge would you, in theory, like? And you can get single zones, you can get dual zones, you can get big, you can get small. One thing that I've noticed is there's a lot of companies out there selling fridges and people especially on social media, they're switching all the time. I try to not, you know, test a bajillion different products that are exactly identical because uh, there comes a point where like, I don't really know how much value there is in comparing uh, all these different products um, without really testing them that long. But one thing that I really kind of love about this particular model of the Iceco fridge is it just seems tried and true. It's been around for a while and like all the materials on it are really durable. I know Iceco has been releasing some of their newer fridges, but really this, this older version of their fridge, I just absolutely love. It just feels bulletproof and like there's really nothing more you can do to improve this design. Oh my gosh. So I'll set it like this just for a second. So it's kind of within frame. Here is the dual zone that I have from them that I just kind of use on big trips because it takes up a little extra space in the Forerunner. Well, we've got a nice little display here. You know, it's kind of a no BS display. We've got our temperatures and like power and that's about it. And that's really all I care about. The outside has like a pretty scratch resistant sort of uh, sheet metal covering. It's got good insulation good venting, it's not too loud. The side handles are all spring loaded and metal. The clips up here are all metal. They've got 
nice insulation, nice rubber seals. And I think they've been selling this fridge for a few years now. And you don't really see too many people talking about this model anymore, but I frankly am not super interested in some of the newer models because they all seem to be very plasticky and they look all modern with white displays and stuff, but I want something durable that's gonna last. And these have pretty nice, I think they have a C-Cop compressor in them. So they're really quite a nice fridge. And for the price, compared to some of the really name brand bougie options out there, they're a great value. So I really feel like they tick all the boxes. So this is my dual zone, but I'm gonna show you the single zone, which is the one I really use the most. All right, stand by. Whew. Okay, so this is the exact same fridge in a smaller model. It took a little convincing with Iceco, but they were willing to send me both fridges that are almost the exact same line and exact same item, just different sizes. So I was really appreciative of that. That was a while back and I've just been using these two fridges if I do anything. So essentially this one though has a cover on it, which is why it looks slightly different, but I could take the cover off for the sake of demonstration or at least show you kind of the front here. These covers are nice because if it's summertime, they provide a little bit more insulation. So sometimes they're slightly more efficient, but rather than being a dual zone, this is just a single zone with one big cavity. And so we unzip this here, just like so. That cover comes off and we've got one lid. So two baskets still, which is nice light inside. We've got our display on the side here. And one thing I also like about these fridges is I believe they have the transformer built into them. So regardless of AC or DC power, it's just a cable. You don't have a transformer in the middle of the cable, which it's a small thing, but it's really handy. Um, what else? Again, I, they're just super durable and tough. And uh, if you haven't seen my video on my camping setup, the thing I really love about these as well is it might be a little bit of luck, but I got this sweet setup where that dual zone fridge I just showed you, essentially you can run the dual zone fridge and a Rome 105 liter case, which has a kind of special lid in how it hinges. Both of those fit on the dual zone fridge slide sold by Iceco. So if you buy two slides, one can use the dual zone fridge and then one can use the 105 liter Rome case. And the sweet part about all of that is like when I set that system up, it slides just perfectly under my shelf. So it's just this absolutely sweet modular setup. And what's even more fantastic about the setup is like I didn't spend a ridiculous amount of money to run those slides and all of that. So if you were to go online and do some sort of DIY platform system, Weighted drawer slides are really expensive. And so to go buy these slides, they're really not that much more and they lock. And with the system that I've designed where I just have a couple pieces of plywood to level out my trunk, I've got these inserted nuts within the plywood. So whenever I wanna drop this slide in, I carry it over, I put in four bolts, bolts down, and then I put in my fridge or my case. And then when I'm not using that, I've got a nice spot in my garage on the shelf and it keeps my trunk free of, you know, not having drawer systems and things like that. So I can actually do daily life things very easily. So really sweet setup. And these fridges have just been awesome. So just, I'm not really trying to show you all the features and everything about these fridges because you've maybe seen it already. But I just wanted to show that, you know, I really like these because I just think they're durable. They're pretty efficient for what they are. Most of the time when I run them, they are at the 30 to 50 watt range. I don't see them really kick into overdrive that often. And you can even set them to run on a more efficient mode in which they kind of prioritize the power draw rather than like the speed at which it brings it to temp. So that's cool too, especially if products inside of the fridge can stay cool and don't need to be like super cooled. Um, especially, you know, if you're like not using it as a freezer. So a lot of nice... A lot of nice for features on these fridges. And it's just, like I was saying, no one really talks about these fridges as much as they used to because now people are talking about the newest and greatest products and I may be 
starting to kind of see some of these things, you know, evolving over time because I've been doing YouTube for about three years now, but I don't always think that the newest products are the best. And this is an example where I just absolutely love these ice co fridges and I hope they don't stop making them because I still think that they're one of the best, if not the best fridge model that ice co sells. So probably one of the big questions that you kind of have left is like, well, okay, this fridge is still pretty expensive, Zach. Like, why not just use a cooler? And it is a valid point. Uh, but one thing that I will mention is I have a Orca cooler. I know people with Yeti coolers. They're kind of the, or I think Arctic is another brand that a lot of people really like. They're a pretty good cooler, and they have those really thick walls that allow you to, uh, you know, essentially keep ice for longer or whatever. I'm not opposed to that style. And if you use coolers, that's awesome. Uh, one thing that I think, <laughs> it's just kind of a small thing maybe, but a lot of people I know don't really like the sound of ice and water sloshing around in their vehicle. So depending upon what sort of off-roading you do, that could just drive you crazy. Um, but I often feel like sometimes those coolers also, um, a lot of people don't have like great mounting solutions for them. So you have to like ratchet strap them down or something like that. Again, not that inconvenient if you don't mind doing it, but this has some pretty convenient handles here. They're very durable. You can loop straps through them so they tie down to your vehicle nice, and then you can open and close it, put it on the slide, you know, all those sorts of things. You could figure that out for a cooler, but once you're starting to go to some of those lengths, you could probably easily upgrade to one of these and the convenience is, is really nice. All right, well, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I. Uh, I really like these fridges and I just kind of wanted to share my experience with them. Uh, Iceco really came out with a kind of cool idea for this video. So uh, shout out to them. I really appreciate their ongoing support because uh, it's companies like them that help me to be able to make content like this on a regular basis. Uh, otherwise, it makes it really hard for some of us kind of smaller YouTubers, so to speak, because uh, we're kind of in this weird limbo area where a lot of you out there are really wanting to watch us. And so this really helps us to be able to make consistent content. So. Shout out to all of you as well. If you're interested in uh, any of those sales that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'll try to link some of that stuff down below. Uh, at the top of the description though, I'm definitely gonna have some links to the fridges that I have, some of the power solutions that I talked about earlier in the video. And if you got any questions or you're trying to find a video where I talked about some of that stuff, feel free to comment that down below. I'm happy to try and provide any extra details I can there uh, or answer some questions, I'll do my best. Uh, but if not, always feel free to reach out to a lot of these companies. Um, they've got good products, but oftentimes they've also got great customer service too. So that should be able to uh, help you square away some questions where I maybe can't help. Um, but yeah, speaking of sales, uh, Iceco is running a full uh, kind of 20% off all of their fridges and then 30% off up to other things on their website. I haven't looked into the details, but that sounds like you maybe could get a slide for 30% off, which would be pretty awesome. I've also heard, I think, that Rome might be running a sale. So yeah, if you wanna check out that video I talked about earlier, I'll link it up here somewhere. Uh, seriously, that's one of the sweetest DIY setups I've done. And uh, go check that out because it's a sweet modular setup. It definitely uh, is on the more affordable side as far as DIY goes. And uh, I think it's a sweet setup too because you gotta come up with something typically to level out the uh, rear space of Forerunners. So why not? It kind of kills a couple birds with one stone. So definitely uh, go check out some of those sales. Like I mentioned, if you want to support the channel even further than that, I do sell some patches on my website, which are typically always in the description. And if you're trying to, you know, tap into some of my knowledge over the years of working with Forerunners, feel free to set up a build consult call on my website and we can talk about your specific build. So uh, that might be a timely thing to do here with the Black Friday sales going on. All right, well, that's enough from me. I hope you liked this video. And uh, if you're trying to set up your camping setup, consider a dual battery system or maybe some of these portable batteries uh, to power one of your fridges. And while coolers are convenient and you know a great option in the summer and who doesn't love a drink on ice, uh, these coolers are just so much more efficient and they're really convenient. And they work great for all different types of food and frozen goods as well. So consider checking some of these out. Like I've said in the video multiple times, the VL series here, it's not the newest kit on the block, but it definitely is, I think, the sweetest. And it's got so many nice features. 
I think it's a lot more durable than a lot of other options out there. And heck, when you're out in the outdoors, I think durability goes a long way. And the C-Cop compressor or whatever the brand uh, name is in here, it's a high quality compressor, but they've got a warranty as well. And uh, you can buy these on Amazon, you can buy them on their website. They're kind of everywhere. So consider checking them out. I think that they're a really nice balance between value and price. All right, well, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving to those of you in the United States, and I will catch you all in the next videos. We've got a few coming that I think are pretty cool and pretty creative. And uh, of course, the build walk around will hit the channel sometime before the end of 2023. Uh, but yeah, early 2024, also got some pretty cool and very large modifications coming, so stay tuned for that. All right, I'll catch y'all later.